Hello and welcome to WP Forms. Today I'm going to show you a few hacks that will let you find hidden user data in your contact forms by using the WP Forms plugin. We're going to accomplish this by setting up hidden fields to get information like locations, IP addresses, spammer detection, and more from people who fill out the forms on our site. But you might be wondering, what exactly is a hidden field? A WP Forms hidden field is a field that you can add to your forms that isn't visible to users. This form can capture information from the user without them being able to edit the field or even see it at all. We're going to go over four different types of information that you can gather from your users by using a hidden field in your contact form. With that said, let's dive right into it. The first thing we'll want to do is install WP Forms, so we'll head over to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account yet, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can head over to the form builder by clicking on the Add New tab on the left hand side. WP Forms comes with lots of different templates to get you started as quickly as possible. You can browse through the available categories to pick one you'd like to use, or search for specific keywords by using the available search bar. You can also create a form entirely from scratch if you want, it's all up to you. For this tutorial, Let's use the simple contact form template as a base, and we'll go from there. The first piece of information we're going to learn how to collect is an IP address. You can track the IP address from users without them seeing it by adding a hidden field to your form. This can be really useful if you notice that a specific IP address is sending you a lot of spam. If you have the IP address, you can block that user from accessing your site through your hosting company or a security plugin. To add a hidden field to your form, Scroll down to the Fancy field section on the left, and then click and drag the hidden field from the left over to the right. Afterwards, click on it to open up the field settings. In the default value field, go ahead and enter the following smart tag. Left curly brace, user, underscore, IP, right curly brace. This way, the form will automatically collect the user's IP address without them knowing that the field is on the form at all. When you're ready, Click on the Save button on the top right, and we're all done with this first method. The second piece of information we're going to collect is the page address that referred the user to your form. For example, if a user was on your home page, but then navigated to the page that has your contact form, this smart tag would give you the URL of your home page. This can be really helpful because it will give you a much better idea of where your site's visitors are coming from. You can capture the URL in the hidden field by using the smart tag left curly brace, URL, underscore, refer, right curly brace. Additionally, you can add a query variable to the smart tag in your hidden field to find this URL information from external sources, like if a user ended up on your contact form page by clicking on a special tracking link from a site like Facebook. In the default value field, add the following query variable, left curly brace, query, underscore, var space key equals quotation mark source quotation mark right curly brace. After this, go to the settings tab on the left and click on the notifications tab because we'll want to make sure to include this information in the notification email we receive when we get a new form submission. In the message portion, click on the show smart tags text on the top corner of the field, scroll to find the hidden field option, and select it. Clicking on this will add a smart tag to the message field that looks like this. When you're done, click on the Save button on the top right corner of the page. The final step for this method is to learn how to share the link to the page that contains this form. For each platform that you share this link to, you'll want to add the source to the end of the link. That way, WP Forms can recognize it when someone clicks on the link and arrives to your contact form page through it. Here we have three examples of how to create each link depending on where you shared it. You can change the source to whatever you want. 
That way, when somebody comes to your contact page via one of these links and submits the form, they won't see this information attached to the form. Let's move on to the third piece of information we can collect, campaign tracking. If you've ever done any kind of marketing campaign, especially if you've done more than one at one time, you know how important it is to know which one is performing the best. A hidden field can allow you to track which campaign is sending people to your contact form. This method will actually follow the same steps as our previous URL tracking method, so we'll want to add a query variable smart tag in the default value field. The main difference will be in how you set up the link that you share on different platforms, which will be structured in the following example. Afterwards, we'll repeat the same steps as before and add the hidden field smart tag to our message field in our form's notification. When you're done, save your changes, and we're all set to find out which campaign sent users to our form. We can now move on to the next piece of information we can collect, user locations. If you're already using our geolocation add-on, you can also use a location smart tag to include this information in your notification email. That way you won't need to sign into your WordPress dashboard and dig through your form entries to find it. In the notification section of your form, go down to the message field, click on the show smart tags text, and find the entry geolocation smart tag and click on it. The smart tag will be added to the message field and thus you'll now receive a visitor's geolocation data right in your form entries notification email. And that's it! You've just learned four different ways to collect user data in your contact form by using a hidden field with WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.